Hey guys, my name is Dan, and uh, here's how to ta change your the MIDI channels for the notes that you've already written. So in this case, I've been I've been pulling everything over from samplers in a direct wave, and um, what I did do with the other samplers is I would ch I changed the root note of each individual sampler so that in the pattern clip the notes would appear on different rows so that they all could be seen instead of layer vo layered over each other, um, which would be have to be the case if the root note was re remained at C for multiple samples. So in direct wave, I, uh, I set the samples in here already. I've already done this work, so I got these different percussive samples in here. And each one is uh, going to be triggered by a different MIDI channel. Uh, when you open up direct wave, it's already like this. And additionally, uh, the output um, is defaulted at just one, but you can you just double click, you know, like so, and then you can you know write in how many channels over from direct waves initial channel that you want the sample to be going through in your mixer. So, eyes closed. Uh, song I've been working on. Um, it's a remake. I'm not the original artist for it, but um, it's a really cool thong, song, I think. It's, I've been working on it. Now, so what, what the deal is, is you'll go into the piano roll you're, and go to the layer that has the instrument that you want to copy over and as you notice, it's on channel one. I've already got other instruments on channel one. So since they're all going in direct wave, we've got to change the channels. So um, you do a control, left click drag, that selects all the notes that are triggered in this layer by that note. If you got more than one note, you can just elongate the selected area. So control C gets those all copied click here, go to direct wave, that way you're not making a whole new clip. And the, I believe it was an open hat? Yeah, the, yeah, non-new disco open hat. So, so you're on the direct wave layer now. You can see that, uh, actually I think it was on a different MIDI channel in the because I had two hats and so both hats I had operating on the same MIDI channel um, but I wasn't quite the cleanest way to do it but I you know I'm improving this workflow here and so I've already copied those open hats and I know that the open hat goes on to G4 um, I got the beginning in view so when I copy it will probably put those notes all the way up to the beginning so here we go so it's here and the these ghost notes here actually go or correspond to these guys because they're on the other layers but uh, them so but I got to deal with this until I have everything down then I can delete the other layers so it is hard to see where this one is supposed to go, but it is um, pretty close to, I know it's the same. I'm gonna have to go to the other layer real quick. Uh, so yeah, I, I, okay, so it's, yeah, it was right. A measure five is where it started. Okay, so back to direct wave. I've got it at measure five. But instead of A4 being the root note, G4 is the root note because um, that's what allows you to see all the notes. Um, otherwise, they're layered on top of each other, like I said, and it doesn't, you know, this makes, makes for some confusion. So now I, uh, let's see, bring up the channel rack. I have all those samplers muted. So now they should play all the things. Eyes closed and dreams go free. Okay, so I got some mixing to do there, um, but I just wanted to show you guys that's how you are. Um, actually, hold on a second. I didn't do quite what I said I was going to do. Okay, so all the, yeah, 
I'm not finished yet. So all those notes are on MIDI channel one. I don't want them to be on MIDI channel one because these other notes up here that are already on channel one will also trigger that same sample. So what you do, instead of having to rewrite everything or you know look at the ghost notes and copy over manually, I figured out you can just uh, control left click. You select all those guys. Oh, actually, uh, I need to back up. The MIDI channel for the open hat is number four. So you want to have this guy already on number four. So now he's on number four. Now, control left click to select all these guys that are currently on channel one. And you go up to this buddy up here. And oh, and you can, there's a shortcut too. You don't have, you can just uh, Alt C and change color. So it's a little unintuitive for Image Line to just say that it changes color. Although, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense now. But it, when I first saw it, it was like, I, what does change color? Like, what is that? Like, I'm, I don't want to just change the color of the notes. But what it does do is it changes the color of the notes to the MIDI pattern that you currently have, or the MIDI channel that you currently have selected. So I've got four selected, and then so you just click that buddy, and then now all those notes that you spent all that time writing are converted over to MIDI channel four. And so now it should sound like it should. Eyes closed and dreams go free. Okay, now you can hear it. Obviously mixing is in order, but I was just showing you guys, you, you, if you spend a bunch of time writing notes and a pattern out and for a beat, but you need it to be triggered by another MIDI channel in, this, in, in the case of using direct wave, um, you can do that. And that's how to do it. And when you, uh, you so, and make sure you change your root note, your trigger note basically, so that it doesn't pitch up or down your sample unless you want it to do that. So you just, in direct wave, you'll left click on your sample and then go over to program and then that brings up to the specific piano roll for that sample. And then right click on the note that you want to be used as the root note. And when you go to your pattern clip, it will be on that root note um, row and then everything is kind of spread apart so you can kind of see what's going on anyways thought I'd share thanks for watching have a good day